Hello and welcome back to uh, Football Manager 2019 here on Roll Slow Gaming with a Bass City Football Club. We're trying to take them to the top of Premier League and out in Europe and beyond. So far we are in the 2024-25 season and we are having an extremely, extremely good start here to uh, our Skybet League 2 season six games played so far and uh, victory in all matches i'm defeated and a goal difference of plus 10 and i think we haven't really let any goals in maybe one or two but uh yeah extremely extremely good so far actually quite unbelievable since we are expected to Come in at our um, mid table finish. This is so much better than that. And uh, we are having changes in the training schedule and everything like that. Don't know why. What I do know though is the extremely tight playing schedule is keep is still going on and I will do so here for a bit more at least. So coming up we have AFC Wimbledon at home. For the second round of the Caribou Cup uh, that we just managed to uh, go through after penalties against, uh, I don't remember what club it was, but uh, I do remember it was a, a double meeting back to back at uh, meeting the team at home. Pretty funny, actually. Um, I can long decent sky bet lead two player now. Uh, I don't think he's changed any way whatsoever in his uh, in his ability but uh, sure and according to the bookmakers very slight underdogs against Wimbledon uh, so we'll continue here towards that match just marching on as we always do here in this game uh, playing it sort of fast but we're not really playing it fast, we're playing it wrong and slow since we are over 180 episodes in and have just gone through like five or six season or seasons or something like that. And uh, yeah, over 90 hours or something like that. So we are playing it slow and nice and showing you everything, every single decision, every mouse click that we do. And uh, well, that's how I like to see it at least. And uh, yeah, if you have any thoughts about how you would like to see me play the game, I, I would love to hear them. And also how you're playing the game yourself, of course, if you're playing like me with a lower league club or if you're playing uh, a journeyman series or however you're playing, I'd love to, I'd love to hear every detail of it, so to say. So we'll put Baxter in instead of Charles. And we'll let him play in attack. And Gustavo Perry Kelly, Gosling Pius. Yeah, that's correct. And the de Havilland, we should sort of have one of those players on uh, the bench, but we do have Charles, so we are definitely a little bit thick in terms of center midfielders. But that should be all right. We do certainly have the money to cover it. Everyone is fit. Yeah. Um, yeah, I said we definitely have the money to cover, cover a little bit higher wages, if needed to say, or well, extra wages. And we're not really paying anything for uh, any of our long players, I do believe, or not so, at least not paying too much for them. So we do have uh, have that under control, or we rather have uh, quite quite a good uh, um, overflow of cash or cash flow. Yeah, really good cash flow overall, and that's actually. The key thing that I always try to implement playing football manager, or for that matter FIFA manager, a tight budget control or a financial control, uh, is 
well, the most important thing you know, where you can really excel and get further in the game overall is, is my tactic. Um, taking in young players and selling them, well, when needed. Often not because, well, you can can simply meet their wage demands because they want to be in higher league or getting uh, getting worried or getting uh, getting super irritated when you're uh, not accepting offers from a, from a, from a team higher up in the hierarchy or something like that and then you just can't finish a contract so you got to sell them and things like that super irritating but what's not so irritating is that we have taken the lead here in this match with a great call there from Pius and good good um, cohort between uh, Gosling and Pius there so Gosling should be developing well I don't understand why he's not really doing that but unfortunately I guess we will be needing to do something about that Gosling there with a really good shot hitting the post <laughs> my voice there almost cracking up uh, sort of ticklish in my throat just at that moment actually and uh, yeah a little bit hard having a little bit of trouble uh, speaking correctly or a little bit irritated in my throat usually get that when I'm playing this game just because talking talking over it so much uh, but not really so much but but much <laughs> you, you guys understand what I mean uh, I think or maybe you don't do that don't understand that at all uh, no matter what we do have the end here of the first half for Bassett versus AFC Wimbledon here in uh, the Caribou Cup and the scoreline after one half is 1-0 to zero. Shots 88, shots on target 43, possession 44 to 56%. So, good result, maybe not the best play so far. Uh, nothing special here uh, to note after one half of, uh, of the ratings of the players. And uh, kicking the second half off straight off. And uh, highlight for uh, the kickoff here, I guess. And uh, well, no, maybe not. Cosmic coming through and the ball to Pius. Pius getting a goal here in the 46th minute and scoring the 12th goal of this season. And with that match, I guess maybe we sort of secure the win. I do hope so. Cosmic here again with a good action, uh, but missing uh, that ball or getting that ball a little bit too long. Um, well, a bit long from him, but uh, the tackle there from Wimbledon got to be a really good pass actually to Pius. So we'll, we'll, we are aiming here to switch out the players that are tired, uh, just to switch that around as much, much as we can or save on them, so to say. Uh, so Miller out here at 72% and then it should be Mitchell so we'll put in uh, Preston there and we'll wait a little bit here for the last substitution that will be Johnson or Kelly and uh, next highlight here in the 72nd minute and a ball here for Wimbledon Wimbledon maybe get the screw here uh, on a counter attack Throwing it wide here on the right hand side and a shot there by one of their players and saved on the line there by Molden or keeper. A really good save there actually. And the corner pretty much out for a throw in for Wimbledon and not really any danger there. And uh, the game running on here, so next highlight here in the 8-third minute. And we should do our last substitution also as soon as this highlight finish or finishes. And a lot of ping pong so far, but the ball now in Bath hands. And passing to Charles to Baxter here in the middle. And a long ball up to Gosling. Gosling versus the keeper and hitting the top bar. And Pius is there on the rebound. And it's another goal for Bassett here. And Pius is scoring a hat-trick. 
in the 84th minute and the score now 3 to 0 for Bassett versus Wimbledon here and definitely securing the match now if we haven't hadn't done that before it so really really great and I said uh, time for a substitution so what should we do Kelly or March Kelly you are a little bit more tired so we will switch out Rather than Johnson, actually, Merch were the player that we possibly were going to put in, but we weren't, or we, yeah, we weren't, and we ain't going to do that. And we get the highlight here for the final whistle. Three players at the ball there looked a little bit daft, especially since uh, they left markings totally for number twelve there in Wimbledon. Cute here. But luckily enough, that worked out, and he didn't get the ball there at uh, a very dangerous spot. Actually, if they managed to, would have managed to get the ball to him. So, in a second now, the final whistle, and there we have it, and it's all over as I said, and the final result for Bassett versus FC Wimbledon is three to zero. Shots eighteen to seventeen. Shots on target. 88 possession 46 to 54 percent so another great game and i said pius getting a proper hat trick in the match really really nice 1577 attending in that match and uh, we're through in the second round and we will praise pius performance here and uh, he's spotted here apparently and pies for his next uh, Nigeria squad and yeah he's pretty darn great uh, very well suited to escape at League 2 football yeah we definitely would sign him if we could uh, we can't he's a long player and I'm uh, guessing he will uh, develop pretty nice and I'm guessing that he will not want to Come to us, uh, and we should uh, should uh, should transfer list Lundstrom here according to our suggestion, and sure we can uh, do that. And we should offer Baxter contract. I don't think we should. Uh, Shaw should be changed to backup. Yeah, that's pretty true. For youth facilities, yeah. And we'll say lack of ambition, I'm very sad. And we'll go with this first option. You must be aware the fans are behind me and want the same for the club. And they grant our request, so that's good. Um, begin at the end of the season and is scheduled to be completed in October next year. And that's great. Um, let's see here. I won't say that we have a great relationship with the chairman. So that's really good. Uh, Caribou Cup, round three. Uh, we will meet Nottingham Forest, uh, which isn't too great, but we're playing at home, which isn't too great either, of sorts. But it is a League 01 club, so we will have the chance to beat them, hopefully. So there, there's always that, and... Since we might have a chance with that, it's always good being on the home field. So let's see here. And while we are moving towards the next match, remember to hit that subscribe button if you're... Well, I'm going to say don't do that, but do, do, do that if you want to and haven't done so for some reason yet and want to follow along on our series here toward the top of the Premier League and beyond. But if you're 
liking this episode and uh, this series you should smash that like button also no matter what uh, and if you're not enjoying it you should actually hit the dislike button uh, since I that gives me an idea of what you actually think of the content that I'm putting out there but enough of that and let's concentrate here on uh, the episode and what we're, we're actually doing playing the game of football manager uh, as Bath City Football Club and uh, we are meeting Mark Impier in uh, Skybet League 2 very shortly another top team here so far in uh, the season and they are currently fifth in the league and we are slight light favorites according to bookmakers even though we're playing away Training for the first team, 7.89 here as an average, 7.64 for the under-23s and the under-18s, 8.13. And we'll, as usual, take an individual look here on the first team players. Uh, Pius showing improvement, that's nice. Backs are showing bigger improvement in jumping. Yeah, jumping reach. And uh, nothing more really here. Gustavo and uh, Miller were shown there, uh, but we are expecting them to to develop quite nicely here. And Merch want to do more quickness. I think and uh, yeah he's uh, unfortunately also not really reaching where we want him to do to be he's actually only leading for sky but um, or veteran national league south so two tiers below us but still we're letting him play a little bit from time to time but um just as a substitute, so not really uh, that exciting. Since it's not really developing at, at the pace that we would like to. He did develop pretty well last season or the season before that, and we, he did get quite a lot of playing time then, but not anymore. And uh, do we have anyone that is tired or that shouldn't be here? No, don't think so. All the correct players and the same here in the bench or on the bench rather yeah yeah so Gosling and Pius good partnership definitely so don't want to switch that up and uh, hopefully hopefully Gosling can get a really good development here this season together with Pius that would be so great and, but we'll play here straight off just as we do and uh, come into match also just as we do. So straight off we can see that uh, quite a few players here in Markamp are tired around the 80% mark in terms of condition. So hopefully we can take advantage of that. That we have like, they have half the team being temper ten present lower in condition a first chance here by Markham on a corner there, but headed outside at the post and Scantorp coming here actually up to second place in the league that we did beat 2-0 two to zero a couple of matches ago and uh, the first half now almost over here looking at the stats it doesn't look that good for us at all so definitely one of our slowest match so far and the score went zero to zero for Bassett versus Morkamp shots one to eight which isn't great at all shots on target though one to one all right and possession 48 to 52 percent also all right but those shots against us not really that great at all yeah but let's check the rest so overall not that great performance at all from the lads but nothing too bad but quite a few at 6.4 so definitely leaning towards a weaker performance this match uh, but uh, 
that of course can turn around and here in the second half is where we should really have more of an advantage of having fitter players first highlight here in the 53rd minute in the second half or the first highlight in the second half rather and it's for Morkham Morkham with the cross and out now getting the ball outside the penalty area and back to the right hand side for another cross but they lose the ball and the ball to Kelly Kelly doing a long ball up towards Pius but unfortunately not hitting the right address so to say and the ball to Miller Miller a long ball up to Pius Pius versus the keeper and it's a goal for Bastille here in the 53rd minute and then Pius does it again if this continues we will have Pius only to thank for getting up to Skybet League 1 after this season if, if he's continued to play playing like this and, and uh, deciding games for us so to say next highlight here in the 50 cent minute and another goal for Bassett here and it's again Pius with a really good shot there after a head down on that corner if I saw that correct so corner here from Miller and yeah headed down by Gosling and a goal by Pius or finished by Pius there and uh, yeah I said Gosling playing really good together with Pius so pretty much a dream team there just hoping uh, um, and also can develop and not only play well so put in um, Charles here instead of uh, Miller uh, yes that is correct in support and uh, we should switch out Miller uh, we'll put in Gray and that should be everything for a little while and another highlight here in this 66 minute. Wilson, the more camp keeper, picking up the loose ball. And up for for the ball, and it's more camp here, and it's a goal in the 66th minute, and it is now reduced to 2 2 1 for Bassett versus more camp. And uh, yeah, pretty poor. Defending there actually, I guess, and letting that ball get yeah get in behind our defensive line. Uh, but uh, well, good play, I guess, there from Morecambe. So let's uh, do the last sub here, and uh, let's do a sub for Shelby since we have a yellow card here. I guess we don't want to lose lose uh, a defender in uh, well unnecessary on two yellow cards so a precaution there and a chance for more camp here in this seven days minute and it's another goal and unfortunately here and it's all equal after things looking so good of on uh, this match that uh, we didn't deserve to lead by two goals uh, at least not if we were looking at the stats after one half but uh, here it is, and uh, unfortunately, um, direction, misdirection there, or direction, or I, I don't find the word actually there for, uh, or the English word uh, for, for the Swedish word, scarf, but uh, don't know. Anyway, Gray here with a chance or a shot, and it's a goal from outside the penalty area in the 8th minute and Bath City now leading again here versus Morkham at 3-2 and a shot like that almost never gets in but uh, yeah and Gosling there passing again and uh, yeah great goal there from Gray who's also really great as a parenthesis So only a minute to go here of the match. Hopefully we can keep this together. That would be great. 60 minutes of extra time. We have cleared, well, all six now, as I'm saying that this. So it should be the final whistle here any, any second. And out for a goal kick. And that should be it then. And it is. 
So the final scoring for Bath City versus Morecambe is 3 to 2 shots, 10 to 16 shots on target, 8 to 7, possession 50 to 50 percent. So overall, uh, I would say not too undeserved. Uh, a draw maybe would have been more fair, but uh, yeah, great performance by the lads overall, especially Pius again, of course, and. Uh, Really great there with that uh, winning goal were pretty darn great, to be honest. And I will check out the league table here and our inbox before we finish off this episode. So still leading, still five points clear of the closest team, that is Scantorp now. Uh, and we should really talk about a down to fourth place. Uh, we're eight points clear of uh, the playoff zone, so eight points clear being in uh, a directly qualified spot for Skybet League One. So, as I said, looking superbly good here so far uh, in this season after seven matches. And we will praise Pius here and seven goals or seven matches won in a row. Well, yeah, as I said, we'll. I've let in four goals in seven matches here for Sky but League 2. Really, really great. And in between this, we have won a couple of uh, uh, cup matches also. But anyway, that is everything for this episode. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time here on the channel. Thank you and bye-bye. You have been watching Rollsclaw Gaming and I hope you have enjoyed on clicking on the video on the left you will see the next video in this series and on the right our latest upload to the channel. And with that said, thank you again for watching.